In this 3D modeling and animation tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload a character mesh that you've made to Mixamo, a software suite from Adobe, and then you can auto-rig it. Once your mesh is auto-rigged, then you can download it and animate it yourself, or you can download an automated, pre-animated scene that has motion capture. You can also apply your own motion capture, but first, let's see how we can get our own characters into Mixamo. So you select Upload Character, then you select your character file and upload it. Mixamo takes a second to process your character and it accepts FBX files or OBJ files. Once it's uploaded, make sure that you rotate it. So sometimes you need to rotate it around so it's facing forward. Once it's ready, click Next. Now we need to place markers for our rig. First, we'll go ahead and place the chin marker, put it by the chin, then the wrists. Notice that they both move. I go ahead and leave it this way, so I only have to drag them up once, and then I uncheck Use Symmetry. If you've made your model in a Symmetry 3D modeling program, then that works well, but if it's a 3D scan like this is, then we need to move them by hand. So now I'll move the wrists and the elbows to where they need to be. It's pretty close. And then the chin needs to be moved over to the chin in the center, and then I'll move the knees to be more precise. Okay, then we have a choice of skeletons. We can have a super fancy skeleton with all kinds of fingers and face things, less bones for the fingers, or no fingers. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and have no fingers, since this is just a simple mesh. So you can see here that there's no fingers, it just moves the hand. If you want to have fingers, even though this doesn't have uh, the most accurate thing, you can go ahead and click two chain fingers and you'll see that it's going to move the hand like that. So I don't have a lot of separation on my mesh for that, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at no fingers. I'll click next. Then Mixamo starts to auto rig your character. Now we can see that our character is rigged, so we'll click next. Now we have our character, and what's great is we can click different animations. So if I click zombie stand up, now our character is a zombie and stands up. Pretty fun. What I can also do is select different ones. I can have my character punch. We can also change the height of the animation, the target height. We can change how long it is. We can mirror the animation if we want it to go the other direction. So there's a lot of power here. What's great is we can download this animation and then import it into Blender. Let's get something a little bit uh, more fun. Here is some ridiculous dancing, so we'll go ahead and grab that, and then we'll download it. You have a choice, you can download it with the skin, in this case we want to, or you can also keyframe reduce, so sometimes you wanna not have so many keyframes in case you're going to add secondary animation, and you can also choose which type of FBX you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open up Blender or Maya or other 3D modeling software. Here in Blender, I have the original mesh that I animated with Mixamo. So now I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to import an FBX. Here I have the dancing FBX. I'll select that and I'll import the FBX. So as you can see, this FBX comes in with an armature. I can still move it around by clicking the armature. GX. And if I press play on the timeline now, I have an animated character next to my other character. So there's a lot of fun. You can add in different animations and download them and have them interact. And you can mix and match and have lots of fun with Mixamo. So hopefully you're able to upload your character to Mixamo and then rig it and download a fun animation. Happy 3D modeling.